Uh, hello, I'm Lars Horn. I am a director at the Research Council of Norway in Oslo. Congratulations to FLEES on its 10 year anniversary. I hope you all have a fantastic celebration. My responsibilities at RCN include marine research at large, including fisheries and aquaculture. I am also a chairman of the Marine Board European Science Foundation, which is located at the Inno Ocean Center in Ostend, along with FLEES, IODE and others. The Marine Board is an influential organization with 29 members in 20 countries. The Marine Board enjoys a generous offer from the Flemish government to become part of a stimulating marine and maritime working environment in Ostend. We are very pleased to be there. The coasts, seas and oceans play a crucial role in Europe's economic and societal development. It is used and misused by shipping, dredging, fishing, leisure, and as a sink of pollution. We have long since learned that the oceans, however large, need to be used in a sensible manner and even protected in some cases. The oceans play an important role in climate change, maybe more so than most people think. We all face a challenge because of the effects of climate change take time to discover and a very long time to mitigate. In the meantime, we will see substantial changes to the ecosystems for good and bad. Fish stocks may grow, but also swim elsewhere. And new species and stocks may come in their place. And a new, wor new world in marine microbial diversity is opening up. Microbes represent the most important biological grouping on Earth in terms of phylogenetic and functional diversity. And it is becoming a new era, area of study. We have to study all this and much more in order to adjust and make changes in the right direction. Europe has taken important steps to improve its marine science priorities. There is a new European maritime policy and a new marine and maritime research strategy to underpin the importance. Very important and improving for our field of interest. I cannot think of a more interesting field than marine research. There are new discoveries all the time, and it's tempting to compare ocean exploration to space exploration. The deep oceans are still largely unexplored. In marine science, you find advanced infrastructures in the shape of laboratories, ships, submersibles, buoys, and satellites, to name a few, and also extensive European and international scientific cooperation. All countries, small and large, must contribute, and also the regions with their specific challenges are important and essential. Marine research often involves going on excursions and on research cruises. That's great fun and a place to meet interesting people in the same boat. This and other issues all point to extremely interesting challenges for you as a scientist, for the decision makers, and for us all as members of our societies. I hope you all will contribute to European marine research 
and make it your future career.